Hello there, I'm Maurice Nimba. Welcome to this tutorial. If you take a look on the screen here, I have a concrete deck here with the rebar reinforcement already fixed on the concrete. So we want to convert this together with the with, with steel rebars inside to a one simple tool. So whenever you want to use this, you're just pulling it and applying it in whatever uh, job or project we want to apply it on. So let me just press Control Two so that we see what we see whatever is inside. You press Control Two. Control tool. Let me first of all click inside because if the car is outside, it will not respond. So ju let's just uh, click inside our window and press Control two. So you can see the inside of our of our deck. We have all these steel uh, just to uh, to to define the profile or to to define the structure of this simple uh, deck. Now we want to convert this into a very uh, simple tool, just everything plus the concrete plus all these reinforcement to one simple macro, like you can see one here. So this is always important to simplify your work. So let me just take you through, because I've done several, so I want just to show you that even this is possible and you want to do it right now. And so you can learn and apply this to whichever complex structure or component and you can do it. So just follow, in, follow me in step by step and you'll be able to do uh, the same one for yourself. So these are the steel bars in place. So the next step I'm going to create, though I have done this several times and you never know, someone might bump into this as this first video inside your channel and uh, he, might, he might be interested in, in how this is done and you can get, you can get to learn right, straight, right and straight from here. Let me just right click inside here. Then pick on the new group and I'll define this as a, a component. Just component. Always start with the capital component. I just leave it on that spot and I click OK. So I'll, cl I'll click on that spot. We don't need to explode anything. We just uh, apply it the way it is. So I'll come to define component right there and I'll give it, uh, I'll, I'll define this as a part and I'll give it a uh, bridge or uh, concrete deck. Concrete deck. Concrete deck. And we'll leave it that way. So whatever we are going to do, just uh, we'll move to next step. So the moment you move to next step, we'll have to select everything that will be defining uh, th this part we are trying to create, all these components we are trying to create. So I'll select everything here. So I've not selected, uh, my, if you take a look, my window has left some part outside. So remember the part of, I've left outside might not be included in whatever I'm trying to define. So let, let's just uh, terminate it right there and try if everything can be selected. So if I select that, fortunately everything has been covered and what I'm going to do right away, first of all, let me just zoom to check whether all the rebars has been included in my selection. It's very important to check. So once I've confirmed and confident that every, everything has been included within that window, I'll go ahead and click bring me on the next step. So inside this next step, we are being requested to define a point of placement. So I'd prefer to define just a single, a single point because this, uh, this is a, uh, this we, we've done this several times so there's no need of uh, uh, going to much uh, much details so i want just to show you that even this uh, deck with the uh, rebar reinforcement is really possible and simple to convert into a simple tool called macro and you'll be able to just pull it in pull into your model and continue uh, creating uh, uh, that project that uh, was once looked very complex to 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 do now i'll define this point as my placement point so i'll just click on that spot so the moment i click on that spot i'll either click finish or define the second point as my placement point so i'm just okay with that single point so i'll go ahead and click finish so the moment i click finish you'll see everything has been uh, confined or defined by this uh by this rectangular or cube here that define this as one C, as one tool or one component. So if we scroll at, at this side here, we'll be able to see 
a preview of that, but we don't have a thumbnail that uh, uh, that show us something similar to this. So it's always important to match uh, whatever you're trying to create as a simple tool to match or to give a preview of, of, of the tool or the work you intended to perform for you. For you. Now, what I'm going to do and uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, to create a screenshot. Always remember to create a screenshot of this, a screenshot of this component or uh, just to show you because on uh, on my applications and component here we have a, a lot of macro with the preview so uh, white note for the previews it will be a total confusion because you don't know which tool uh, you are going to apply so i'll come here i'll come to view uh, so, so so the moment i come to view i'll be able to access this uh, screenshot so always go to the first option screenshot click on that so this small window will come up under screenshot always remember to check uh, to, to check print to file so the moment to print to file uh the moment to create a screenshot this will be taken to this folder you're working on and once once you've checked or uh, you've checked on print to file always good to do that then come to render view pick on option click on option and make sure you, you check the white background right there and click apply and give it an OK by clicking OK button right there. So once you're done, you just drag this into a place that it will not interfere with your, with your uh, sc uh, screenshot defining frame. So I'm going to create a screenshot. So it's always important to put your screenshot or define the thumbnail uh, so that it defines, it brings uh, brief details uh, some inner details of of of, of, uh, of a thumbnail or or the part you're trying to create as a, as a macro. So I had, uh, I had already created this, so I want just to take you briefly on how you can uh, create a screenshot. Now I'll come here and click. I'll come here and pick on uh, pick view. So I'll create a view. I'll create a window that will cover uh, the, sc uh, the the screenshot I'm trying to create. So you you cover this holding your left button. And make sure you cover, you make sure the component you are trying to create a, a screenshot from is within this green green uh, box I'm trying to create. You see, I'm I'm dragging it, I'm dragging it using my left button, the mouse. So the moment I release it right there, I'll be able to. I, I will have I will have defined the my, my uh, I will have defined my camera. Now, if I come here and click capture, it will capture it will create an image so that image will be saved under concrete uh, under concrete bridge jack uh, folder so if you if you go there you'll be able to find it right inside there so always always go to tecla structures models so this this is called civil max contract bridge jack 005 or 05 so if we scroll down we'll be able to find it somewhere here concrete deck right there if you double click on if you double click on that you'll be able to find it somewhere here so i had already created this some uh, some some good images so the one we've just created is this one here is this one here you can see the size is uh, 1579 1579 by 891 but we want to use something appealing so we'll uh, pick on this we we'll pick on that so let, let me just minimize that and then come back and close this. So we want to create a thumbnail for this. So I'll just right click and come to thumbnail and uh, pick add thumbnail. So I'll pick either this or this. I'll select on that, then come to open and I'll go ahead and check and un uncheck that. So the moment you uncheck this, this uh, thumbnail will appear here. So just close this. So we have this in place. And I'll just go ahead and click on it and try and place it somewhere here. So you can see we have this in place. So we we have also another option that we can rotate this into to uh, I mean to an angle of, of our preference. You can rotate that like that. So that's how you can you can work with this. And also you can just select on that right click and come to copy and you can copy it maybe from that spot and take it somewhere there and add another one there then uh, press control 4 and you have everything intact though if you take a look here the plain copy also try to 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 ignore our reinforcement so you, let me come back and uh, just undo 
and uh, try to copy everything. Always try to highlight everything while while you are perform performing a copy command. So let me just undo once again. Undo, undo. And I'm going back to place this right somewhere here. But uh, uh, my placement always uh, think because this component and this component are very close. And I think it will, it will interfere with my selection when I'm trying to uh, to highlight everything plus the reverse. So in that position will be okay. So if I just switch back to my top view and bring this close and I'll try to highlight everything right there and switch back to my isometric view. And uh, if I come to navigate and try to rotate that from that position right there and I'm going to right click here and come to copy and I'll try to copy this from this position here and uh, try and connect it to that position and try and still our rebars are still being ignored reason being we must use the macro to place this component the next component so what we'll do we'll come back to rotate and try to open rotate this like this or undo everything right there just undo everything so we want to create another one here so i'll come back here and try and place another I'll try and place another component right at, at that center right there. So you'll be able to see we have this already in place. So copy, copying that, copying uh, the component will ignore the reinforcement placed inside. So that's how you can do it. And uh, let's just uh, delete that, delete that, delete everything, just undo everything, just undo. So that we remain with this. So this is how you can convert uh, your tool, and uh, it, it it it's always a deal to uh, always think about your time, the, the time you're going to spend on a particular model or, or a particular project, and approach it in a way that uh, you'll be able to speed it up and uh, complete it within the time frame, or even before the time frame. So that is always good, and these these are always ways to approach. Uh, when uh, trying to increase your productivity or to achieve the time frame of a particular product or a project always define or and, and uh, convert all the parts that are repeatedly used uh, on a particular project and save them as uh, a library component so you don't wait or don't waste a lot of time doing the same thing repeatedly so thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, remember to subscribe to this channel and let's meet then Bye bye, I'm Oris Dimba and stay safe.